Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Season 1, and this is Part 12. And I have just been doing some inventory management off uh, camera, and I've been letting the zombies run amok, and it's uh, it's lagging out quite a bit, although the lag seems to be lightened up a bit now, but I'm going to go out there and see what's going on, and uh, let's see, what we can, let's see what we can see. I haven't played this world in a while, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to see out here. But, uh, it seems to be my spikes are, you know, holding up reasonably well. Um, I'm gonna change around this design probably pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure when, but, um, I don't feel comfortable walking across this, uh, this walkway here really anymore. I'm always afraid I'm gonna fall off and, you know, fall into the, to the spikes. So, I think I'm going to change this around a little bit and make it, I don't know, maybe experiment a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is kind of, you know, ultimately safe. Why can't I get one there? I feel like this is a pretty safe area, and I kind of want to experiment a little bit and, you know, switch it up a little bit. I don't, I don't like having to come, oh, look at this. Ooh, they hit this one hard. Oh, boy. Alright, maybe it's not as, uh... As, you know, foolproof as I thought, but it's still... I think it's pretty good. Um, don't forget, as the days go on, the the uh, the zombies will get tougher. And, um... This does work, uh, but I just... I don't know. I would feel so stupid when, and I say when, because I will eventually. When I actually fall into the spikes and kill myself, I'm gonna, you know, gonna be a little aggravated about that. Um, overall, though, it does work. Um, we're on day nine, and um, you can see, I mean, this is uh, it's holding up quite well. Not foolproof, but I haven't really been keeping an eye on it either. So, I think overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I've seen a lot of videos where people, like, dig, like, ditches and stuff. And I'm so, I don't know, I don't, I don't like that. I saw one guy who just TNT'd this whole street right here. He just made this big cavernous, like, just totally overkill. He even called it himself. He's like, yeah, this is overkill. And I was like, yeah, it's overkill. It's pretty fun to watch, though. All right, um, let's, uh, should we do some mining? You know what, let's go ahead and make ourselves some reinforced concrete. Um, I've decided that I'm going to use the metal trussing a little bit less than I was planning because, um, you know, uh, actually, let's get rid of this now. We don't need this anymore. Because the metal trussing doesn't look as cool as reinforced concrete. Uh, so I'm probably going to, like, uh, do, go more with the with the, uh, with the the reinforced concrete, even though it's not quite as strong as the trussing. It's it's still pretty strong. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and cover this up. And we will come up here. And I want to make this a little bit more homely. Uh, the thing is, though, um, I am going to make the first and second levels, like, um, kind of like uh, living quarters, and try and make it look a little better. I have a couple decisions that I need to figure out how I want to do that. And uh, let me see. First of all, let's... Whoa, is this a three-wide window? I don't like these freaking whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. There. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, I have to decide how I want to do this. And originally, I was going to do that. Basically, what I want to do is I want to um, make this a little bit more like a living quarters, you know? And uh, originally, I was going to do it with... Where is it? Not plywood. Not that... No, uh, where is it? Railing? No, no railings. By the way, I have downloaded a brand new um, XML file that w will have uh, uh, all kinds of new recipes in the game. And uh, like the nightstand here, I'll make one for you right now. Um, these are really, really cool. It's going to allow me to craft storage areas that are a little bit more like real storage areas, not just boxes. The problem is when you put them down, they only face one way. So I think it's probably this way. Nope. See, I can't turn this at all. So I can only put these things on certain walls. But um, 
I probably won't use the nightstand too much. What I will probably use is the cabinet. And the cabinet's really nice. And the cabinet was designed, at least I have a I have a feeling that the cabinet was designed in the fact that when you put it down, it could be it could be put anywhere and it could look like it's faced all sides. So that's pretty cool. So we got the cabinets. Um, I'm going to have to take stock of what kind of storage things I have, how I want to do the storage. Um, I really don't have a plan right now, which is probably not the best way to go about things. But I'm going to kind of just do this, you know, pretty organically. Um, now, there's a certain... I can't find it. Where is it? There's like a, a certain um, item in this game. It's like it's kind of like the walls that were separating these rooms down here. It, uh, and I can craft them. I just don't remember what they were called. It's not that. It's not. I don't see it. Did I already make it? For, it's not forging metal. Hmm. Wood farm fence. It's not a wood farm fence. Definitely not that. Huh. I don't... It was just... Oh! Duh. Duh. It's just these things. What am I thinking? So what I can do is, um, I could build my own rooms in here like so. Like, uh... How do I do this? Nope. Not like that. Or, or can I? Yep, there we go. I could divide rooms like this. The problem with the the problem with using these this wood to divide rooms is you can't put stuff up against it. Like um, I can't put like well I could put something on that side, but I can't put it on this side. See? Um, here I'll sh I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I'm using this this wood to like build these walls. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now I have a wall. But I can't put furniture or anything up against it because on this side, that piece of wood is is using. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. But this piece of wood is using up this block. So that's the problem with using these dividers. They don't take up a lot of room, but they but they kind of do. Um, the other way I could build it is Minecraft style, just like just like this. Just use the blocks as dividers. And I think I might do it Minecraft style. Let's just let's just do this a little organically and see how it turns out. Alright, so that's the stairs going down. So we'll just have this come out like this. And that will be one room, which will basically go downstairs. I might even move this over one, just to have it in the center at some at some point. But maybe, or maybe I'll just leave it where it is. Maybe, I wonder if I can make this a door. Probably just make this a door. I, I want the door to line up with the staircase going downstairs. There we go. And that's a room. Might as well do it that way. Uh, I just don't like that ladder up against it, but I guess it doesn't, well, see, it's not really going to work. Uh, well, it doesn't work because, well, hold on, let me think how I want to do this. I could always move that ladder over. Or I can make double ladders. I can make double ladders there. And this could be another room. Um, this could be... It could be a bedroom. Uh, or this could be the bedroom. I should probably... Well, this is going to have to be like a hallway type thing. Um, hold on, let me think I want to do this. Um, this is going to have to be a hallway. Uh, I need some more wood. I did organize a little bit upstairs. Um, just added a couple more chests and did a little bit of organizing. Very little bit of, very light organizing. And this is me just organically trying to come, you know, figure out what I want to do. And the reason I want to do this organically is because I've been watching some Let's Plays. 
of people like playing the game. And there, there's certain parts of the Let's Plays I really like, and there's certain parts I don't like quite as much. Um, I kind of like watching how people get to their builds organically. And you know what's funny? I really don't like the looting anymore. Like, I don't watch... I don't like watching the looting. Like, people going from house to house looting. Um, I probably won't show much of that on my videos. I just find it kind of boring. Um, if you're going from house to house out in the world... What the hell? Did that break? Whatever. If you're going out in the world from house to house and looting stuff, that's fine. But, you know, during the day, nothing really interesting happens. And I will probably cut that out of my videos. Um, if you guys feel strongly against that, you know speak up now um i guess i'll just use metal ladders from now on everywhere why not and just to make this look a little better the hell am i knocking down there we go oh it's brick isn't it i forgot it looks like wood from this side but it's really brick Knock that out. All right. Um, let's see what we're gonna do with this hallway down here. All right. Now it is daytime. Should I go out looting? I don't really think I need to go out looting for anything. Um, I could go out building. Um, yeah. All right. Let me work on this stuff at night. And uh, for now, I am going to make some reinforced concrete and get on with my plans. Now, reinforced concrete is why we need all this sand. Let me find it. Of course, it's the last thing I look in. So we'll take a bunch of sand and a bunch of stone. And we will make concrete. And that goes... I think the stone goes in the X pattern. And the sand fills in the gaps. Like the diamond. There you go. Concrete. Make a bunch of concrete. Alright. We're going to have to do a lot more mining because I don't have a lot of stone. But, uh... Now we can make... Well, we need to make more of these short metal pipes. So, there we go. And it's a lot of short metal pipes, but whatever. Uh, concrete reinforced. That is the concrete in the X pattern. And the metal pipes are in the diamond pattern. Right? Concrete reinforced. There we go. So let's go out and build some defenses, shall we? I know our defenses are good, but they can always be better. Um, I forget how to get downstairs now. It's a little new new for this house, but, you know. I really don't like having to rely on these spikes as much as I do. Although, I don't really see much um, getting away from it because of the way the game works. Um, you need to kill the zombies, especially with the lag issue. But let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can, uh, see what we can come up with. Now, I want to build a walled perimeter around the house, and uh, maybe I'll build it. I'll start it right on this uh, sidewalk. Why not, right? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, this is going to be a... This is going to take a while. We should probably blow up this car. We're going to have to eventually anyway. It's it's in the way, so let's get rid of it. Ooh, do we have the stone? Now, let's get the... Uh, let's get some cobblestone to fill in the hole first. Um, because I don't want to leave a big hole out there. Uh, take some of these. I really don't want to risk dying here. Alright, let's go, go ahead and grab some cobblestone. I really don't have any plans for this place. I have some ideas, but this is like... I'm not really like... I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable building when I don't have a plan. But... Eh, whatever. <laughs> This is all new to me, you know, this, uh, it's when I first started Minecraft, you know, it's just, just, uh, it's just new, you know. Uh, let's go down this way. There we go. Let's get rid of this car, shall we? And let's make sure everything's looted first. And it is. This is how you get rid of a car. Well, first thing you do is you reload. But this is how you get rid of a car for real. There we go. Alright. I don't see any iron down there. A lot of that stuff is asphalt. I really don't care about asphalt. 
Um, I'm pretty sure asphalt's pretty solid, but um, I don't know. I'd rather just build with stone or cobblestone. Or reinforced concrete. What you looking at? Oh boy, how do I want to handle this? Um, oh crap! It's gonna mess up, mess with my wall. Thank God, you idiots make so much noise. not really good enough. Uh, I think I can make, I think I can work with this. I'm pretty sure I could make a half a block of concrete and fill that in. I'm going to want this all to fill in properly. Um, but for now, uh, I'll just leave that area. Uh, let me think. Yeah, this will work. Screw it. Let's give it a shot. Let's just start building. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot because of the way the, um, Ugh. Ugh. Because of the way the uh, they have half blocks. Ugh, this is annoying. All right, hold on a sec. Let me get some. Let me get some water. Do you get the reinforced concrete back, which is nice. I'm gonna figure out how I, wanna, how I wanna handle this. See, I guess I could just break this up. Yeah. Alright, I know I'm gonna handle this. It's gonna be annoying, but. I'll just break this up all the way to here. And then I'll just start building here. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Actually, that's probably better. Uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I want to show you one other thing. That's kind. Of, I, I'm not sure if this is uh, part of the XML file or if this is part of the game update. By the way, this game has been updated to Alpha 1.1. But if you use destroyed stone, you now get this brick paver stuff. And brick paver looks really neat. It's, a, it's actually quite a neat building block. It's kind of like brick, actually. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to put that to use somewhere. Not quite sure where, but I will. You get, you get, um... Oh, Jesus. I got cobblestone and destroyed stone from that? That's kind of weird. Huh. Alright, whatever. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. I've got about a minute and a half left on this video, so I think I will just uh, continue clearing this out and uh, continue talking to you guys. Um, yeah, 1.1 has come out, and um, it's a pretty nice update. And I also went and downloaded a new XML file. Kind of, for those of you who found my videos, you know I had an XML file that allowed me to make some extra things in the game, even though I, I never made them for you guys on video, but I could make shotgun shells and um, and standalone bar barbed wire fencing. Uh, and I now have an XML file that lets me do the same stuff, plus more. You saw a couple of those storage devices I had in there and um, that I made inside earlier. And uh, I think they're smart. I know I can make a wall safe, which is really cool. Um, one of the problems with these with these systems are, or were, that they, um, they would spawn things in for you. So, like, if I made a wall safe, it would spawn in with a gun. The game saw it like it was just spawning in regularly, and it didn't know any better. Uh, I think they fixed that. Uh, but if they didn't, then what I was going to do, and I'll still do if they didn't fix it, although I think they did because you saw me make two cabinets upstairs and neither of them had items in them. Um, I'll just throw the stuff out if it spawns anything. It's it's cheating and, you know, I'll just get rid of this stuff. But I, I want to have the other things. I think I make toilets and all kinds of stuff. Um, 
probably, I don't know if I'm making another video today, but if I do, uh, it'll be the same for you guys. Um, I'm going to try really hard to remember. Next time I make a video, I'm going to set up my laptop, and I want to have all the recipes handy so I can make you some stuff. It's another thing about about um, Let's Plays I watch of this. I don't like watching people stumble through um, a recipe list trying to guess what's what. I, I don't enjoy that. Um, I know it's more legit. I respect what they're doing. I just don't really like watching it. Um, especially since most of the time they don't usually get, get <coughs> excuse me, they don't usually get it. Alright, let's go ahead and spike this bad boy back up. At least right here, because I won't be going back in there. Alright, this grass is a problem. It's going to get me killed with the spikes. All right. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to continue clearing this area out of these, these, uh, this walkway until it becomes dark, and then I'm going to go hunker down for the night. Um, I'll probably come back. You know, I don't, I don't have any de definite plans, but I'm planning. I think I'll come back. You know, sometime in the early morning of the night, uh, and kill off some zombies and see how my defenses are holding. If zombies do end up uh, breaking through or giving me a problem, what I'll do is I will quit the game and I will come back the next time I'm ready to record. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing mindless, boring, stupid things. But if the zombies come through and start becoming an issue, I will shut off the game and I will come back. Uh, you will not miss the zombies attacking me at any point. If the zombies come in to attack... I stop playing until it's time to record. So that's going to be it for part 12, and I'll see you next time for part 13. Till then, take it easy.